iOS 26 has made it incredibly easy to show websites in your Swift UI apps. Before this release, we had to wrap a UI web view from WebKit and UIKit with a UI view representable to use it in SwiftUI. This was quite the process and of course there were packages out there to do it, but now we can just do it natively in SwiftUI. So I will show you how to make this work with just one line of code and then I'll also go into all of the different configurations and styling things you can do with this new API. So let's get right started. We will first of all just import WebKit here as this view is part of WebKit. And inside of our body, we can just replace this empty view with a web view. And you can see that there are two different initializers here. We either pass in a web page, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, or we use the easiest route and just provide a URL. So we'll use this quick initializer here, and you can see this URL can actually be optional, so no need to force unwrap this, which could lead to issues later when the app is in production and the website, for example, isn't reachable or doesn't exist anymore. So great thing that this can be optional. And of course, we will just create this using a string. So don't forget about the protocol. And then in this case, I will just show you launchbody.app, which is an app I made for indie developers. If you are an indie developer yourself, you can grab a 60% discount at launchbody.app forward slash dubdubdc25. So you can see here in the preview, this already works great. This website might be a tiny bit broken here on, on this screen, but you can see this is just one line of code to show a website in your app. The second approach is to use a page. So let's get rid of this URL and comment this out for a second. For that, we will create a state var and we will call this page and this is just a web page. And then inside of our web view, we can just pass this page without any uh, parameter title beforehand. So this way we now have an empty web page. And of course this doesn't make any sense. And uh, when constructing this web page, I can quickly show you that there is no way to just provide an URL. So we will have to take a different approach if we're using the web page, which of course is more configurable than just passing a URL to the web view. And instead we can just create or set the URL uh, while loading. So we can just say page.load a URL request and we will create that request from a URL. And then in here, we can just create the same URL again. So I will once again use this as an opportunity to advertise my own app for you guys. But here in a URL request, this URL is non-optional. So we will have to force unwrap it here, or of course, use a guard statement a few lines above to uh, unwrap it that way and be a bit more safe about it. But as you can see, this is the other option to show a website with a web view. So either just pass the URL directly to the web view, or if you don't know it inside of the view body yet, and this is some sort of logic that's going on in the background or based on a user interaction, and you can use the web page API for that. As you can see, there are tons of view modifiers that you can use for the web view to interact with it like you would interact with a scroll view. And you can even decide if the forward and backward gestures should work inside of this web view. So hats off to the Apple engineers for giving us such a nice well-rounded API. And of course, as you can see, we can customize the web page configuration a ton. So you can pretty much do whatever you want here using this API.